And we are live. Welcome to Punch Drunk Sports, We're where live. winners win. We're live. I am back in the saddle. You are welcome. Okay. Join me. You know who we are. You know what we're here to do. My good friends, both of them. We got uh, Jason Hambone Tebow. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. And Johnny Powerless. Woodard. Oh, are you going you know, to storm out of the studio? <laughs> no, I had a feeling he forgot your name. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to say it wrong. I'm so happy you guys are here. It's happened again. Dates out of the gates. Who are you going to be, Jason? Uh, I'm going to be at the Comedy Store Sunday doing your show. Uh, oh, yeah. Or Kevin Lee Light, a little benefit for our good friend Hollywood Jesus who passed oh, away. Okay. All the proceeds are going to go to... Uh, uh, that Sunday? The Trevor Project. Yep. yep. Uh, uh, so what time? Starts at 8. 8 o'clock, main room, Comedy Store main room. Uh, it's a great lineup. I'll be there for that. Uh, the 12th, uh, which is next... Wednesday, Tuesday, whatever that is, Thursday, I will be at the uh, Harbor Comedy Club, uh, and um, I'm also at Farties. So suck my dick. I love Farties. It All stinks. The that club stinks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but Johnny, they, you have noisy. anything you want to push, like no. a Twitch or anything mm -hmm. like that? No. Nothing. Mm -hmm. no. You want to tell them where you live, where there's meth, Jewish people walking you around. You got your address. Meth. Alta Vista Boulevard, North Alta Vista Boulevard, <laughs> West Hollywood. I'm on the corner of uh, Santa Monica and uh, Western. If anybody wants to That's talk. True, man. Yeah, dude. Guys, uh, next weekend, which is um, April 13th, 14th, and 15th, I'll be at the La Jolla Comedy Store with Bretton Bilcom and David Deary. And then the big, 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 big show is June 1st at Cobbs in San Francisco. Myself, Eddie Bravo, Ryan Davis, and other conspiracy theorists will be doing the Tinfoil Hat Comedy Night. Brought to you by, uh, brought to you by Live Nation. What date is that? You the June 1st. Oh, June, okay. June 1st, that's a Friday. Then June 2nd is the, uh, we're going to be doing at the Sacramento Punchline. That'll be June 2nd. Now, here's the thing. We're going big on the Cobbs one. What we're doing is uh, we're doing a stand-up comedy about comedy and conspiracies. Then we're doing a, about a 30-minute like Q&A at the end with everybody in the show. You can ask your questions. We'll answer them live on stage. And then what we're doing is whoever brought the most people because we have to sell, we need 200 people to bring one friend. Whoever brings the most people get to come backstage with us, smoke weed, and do a private podcast with Eddie Bravo, myself, Ryan Davis, <coughs> in the green room. Mm. So you guys come, hang out. Uh, if you love Tim Foil Hat, you got to come support this because Live Nation will put us all over the, all over the uh, road. So guys, check that out, and I am glad to be back. Clever scheme. Very smart. Yeah, I just got to pack that first, those first two, and then Live Nation says they'll put us on the road. And it's going to be like, you ever see what they did on like the Blue Collar Tour where they all sat on stage and they just answered all the questions and talked? I missed that one, I'm afraid. No. You're from North Carolina. You didn't see the, one of the greatest no. histories in mm -hmm. uh, redneck comedy of all time. <laughs> no. One of the greatest I did have events. that Jeff Foxworthy CD, though, I have to say, when I was a kid. Come on, you had to grow up on that. <laughs> yeah. Those guys suck. I'm, it, it, whoever brings the most people to see me at, at the Harbor Comedy Club on the 12th, <laughs> I will live with you. <laughs> if you can bring one person, I will live with you for five years. <laughs> if you bring two people, you're going to have to kill me to get me to leave. <laughs> so I only recommend bringing one, but I would appreciate it if somebody did that. I don't know where Ari is. He's been really busting my balls. Uh, we started a little late. Uh, uh, come, we had trouble getting here. And so I texted him we're a little late, and he just went bonkers. You remember when you were he's younger? Really gonna he's really going to lay. I think he's in a mood. You remember oh, when you boy. were younger and uh, you would be trying to... Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at that shirt. Speaking of rednecks. I like blue that on blue. I like that. Ari looks do. Like he's... I do like that shirt. Ari looks like he's going hunting for pussy. Yeah. <laughs> it's from Patagonia. Oh, shit. Cool. It's nice. Do you guys remember when you were young and like a chick would be like, yeah, okay, come over. Let's hook up. You knew you had like... Five to ten minutes to get there before she would change her mind. Like you, you couldn't get anywhere in five minutes where I came from. So well, you just you had to get there it. quick before she yeah. changed her mind because that was the always, always the thing. Get there. What is the farthest what? you've driven for sex? Or she's like tired. She's like, hurry up, I'm tired. Like, fuck, she's gonna fall asleep. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Three yeah. hours. Yeah, really? Yeah. Three. You drove three hours. For I three. drove from one university to another university. 
I drove 50 miles. I drove from Ball State <laughs> University to Miami of Ohio. How long did that take, though? Like 10 minutes? <laughs> well, it was like, and it, it's literally from one end of Phoenix to the other, and Phoenix just goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine back in those days when you drove 50 miles, you had to stop every mile to check your pager. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's He's just pulling over at every payphone. What, what, what What's up, bro? Do? Can't talk right now. Going the to addiction. get plus. The addiction wasn't as Did you have then. a pager? No, no I, did. Oh, I never on. had a pager. I never had a pager either. Ari, right, did you ever have a pager? Ari, Ari walked off. For years I had a pager. Did you really? Pants <laughs> For what purpose? I cell phones. I was still like, I was still like, no, I got a pager. My agent would, would text me. I had an audition, so I had to like go find a payphone and fucking call him. Are you serious? Yeah, then he started abusing it. He, he, he paged me 911, and I'd pull over. I had to fucking try to find a payphone off the highway. Get off the highway like what? He goes, don't play golf tomorrow? You're talking about Lawrence Har? I'm on one. <laughs> hey, Ari, do you have any dates out of the gates? Yeah, I'm going to Australia. When do you go? On Monday. Yeah. For a month? Yeah, I mean, I'll be in Albany and Syracuse on, on Wednesday and Thursday, but then I go for about a month. I go to Perth the 13th and 14th, then I go to, then I go to Melbourne for a week, then I go to uh, uh, Adelaide, then Sydney, then Brisbane. Yeah, then I'm back. Hey, 607, my people, my clan, go see Ari at Destiny Mall in Syracuse, the, the mall named after a stripper. It's I love that, that room. The people are cool. That that's one of the coolest staffs out there uh, at the Syracuse Funny Boat. Really? Yeah, they're very nice, dude. They're very cool. I love it a lot. Oh, I was giving us a different look at his trophy fucking cabinet it's right now. There. But it's always there, the old trophy cabinet. Hey guys, I wanted to talk to everybody. Uh, Johnny Woodward, uh, Johnny Woodard, or however you want to pronounce it, depending on what part uh, region of the country. Uh, depending on whether you can read or not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Johnny is working really hard on our you our YouTube channel, and he's been uploading all your classic, all Punch Runs classic fights and. Yeah. We got a bunch of uh, we got a bunch of walkout videos, yeah. which is great. So everybody's loving them. Listen, if you love the if Perfect. you if you love the uh, podcast, go subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Punch Drunk Sports. We're gonna start building that up, doing some live stuff. Now, my well, question: yeah, the thing is, here's the thing. So apparently, all things comedy did not like the amount of nudity. Uh, let's not place blame on anybody, but like some of the people on this podcast have nudity. I some, mean, they, they some couldn't really promote us with nudity. So we did fuck a donut. We did fuck a donut. One you and time. I are totally innocent, but it is ninety nine percent his wang. So out of one seven years, we fucked. Is it even one percent? Is it like point zero one percent? Seven years, I fucked one donut with my little nub. Yeah, I mean, there was a couple episodes where Ari and I had were naked or had our pants off for the majority of it. But it is. God, the point is, there was nudity. The yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Hey, hey guys! What are you uh, eating, Ari? What is Ari? What are you eating? <coughs> it's purple. Well, what I'm eating is the big news. April first, the Punch Drunk website went live. It We're actually is up. It is up. Is We're it, live. Is it there? Yeah, in... only. Yeah, you have to have the link. But it, like, it's in. Certain people are testing it. I've sent the link to certain fans, and they are testing it right and now. And what do they say? I haven't What's heard the anything. Feedback? I haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> oh God. It's What's only made a couple. I can't tell you the link because I don't want a, a thousand people going there right now. Yeah. Why? Why is we're just we're it's, it's being it's it's it is up, but it's tested. being tested. Yeah. Technically, it is up. Yeah. It'll be but, up in two weeks. But the YouTube channel is rocking. It's doing great, Johnny. You're killing it. The Patreon is killing it. Uh, everybody's loving the Patreon. The Patreon's really good. It's been on fire lately. Uh, we had Duncan Trussell on, if you like him. That yeah, was great. Duncan was great, where he told me to come out of the closet. And guess what? <laughs> I listened to him. I sucked a bunch of dicks over the weekend, How'd and I've never been happier. You look happy. You've never look, been happier, your, your dude. Your skin looks good. I'm never... Dude, it's like I didn't know if I, how much I would love uh, unlocking my jaw and just guzzling. And it's just... I feel <laughs> better. You've been getting I feel better. <laughs> what? I always pictured you as a ghost. Oh, well, yeah. you know, yeah. I wish you would have said something earlier because it would have saved me a lot of therapy and upset and drug abuse. Well, you've been getting loads blasted on you. All over the you, place. Wait, now, on you or <laughs> is it like a dir eyes, <laughs> nose, direct deposit? Ears, I love it. Your skin looks great. Thank you, dude. It's affoliating. You've never looked uh, uh, like gayer. Yeah, what's that? 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 Where do you want it? He just goes, eyes and shoulders, knees and toes, toes knees, knees and, and toes. toes. Uh, <laughs> shoulders, and they just fucking cover his eyes, knees, shoulders. So, Ari, I've been hitting up, 
I've been hitting up um, Luis Gomez going, hey, can we do a uh, Punch Drunk podcast at Skankfest? And I never get hit back from him. I understand as you have a guy, website. As the guy running Skankfest, can you make any calls on that? Do you have any breaking news for us, Ari? If you go to... Um if you go to arishafir.com. I love when you eat on this show. It's so easy to understand yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More green in your teeth, please. Yeah. Uh, if you go to arishafir.com slash skankfest, you can find out all your skankfest news. I'll have this coming week. Uh, we already almost sold out all the pre-sale tickets. Um, <laughs> this is where you go for website. Not Lewis Gomez's fake site, but my real site. Can you get that site out again? Skankfest. And I'll be telling you guys about new bookings that we have that you can only find out about at arishafir.com slash skankfest and not Lewis's fake site. <laughs> only me. It's an honor for me to announce it and not for Lewis. <laughs> yeah, what's that site again, Ari? Because you said they're sponsoring us. <laughs> yeah, it's arishafir.com slash skankfest. That's our new sponsor. <laughs> so uh, so are you booking your own skankfest and he's booking his own skankfest and we see... No, no, I... I'm in charge of Skankfest. Lewis didn't control it, right? So I'm really taking over and bringing it to a new generation, making it great. <laughs> Do you have any that, punch drunk announcement that, about Skankfest? Maximize that picture on the on the on the right side of the screen. Can you maximize that? Uh, he's trying. Like, he's trying. Bro, look at that. Look at that. Look what at that. Who's, the, who's that over 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 Rich Boss? Who that is looks that? like Ari, a jacked Ari Shafir. Whoa, Ari, yeah. you're so shredded. That's uh -huh. great. That's you, fucking great. You'd never wear that hat. Let's be honest. Yeah, he would. <sighs> Not in America. So, dude, uh, so what are the dates on Cake Fest so I can put uh, it in my calendar for July 12th, 13th, or Well, session? it's July 14th and 15th, and I'd just like to say this right now. Guys, I don't, I don't do this much, but... Um, Breaking news? Breaking news. Punch Trump is going to be doing a live podcast at Skank Fest this year. That's Breaking News with Ari Shafir. That's right. Punch Drunk Sports live podcast, July 14th or 15th. And 15th. At this year. You heard it here first. Your one true source for Skankfest news, Ari Shafir. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really nervous to buy my fucking uh, tickets out. Headstone? Yeah. I'm very <laughs> nervous. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. I wouldn't be. Uh, it seems, you know, sounds a, a, right a, now, pretty Comedy official. Jerk, Comedy Jerk won the Punch Drunk NCAA bracket. Congratulations to him. You get a free lead. You get a free, a <laughs> free <laughs> pass to Skankfest. Wow. Oh, uh, can a, we give him two? That's a goddamn bargain. So we bring somebody? One. Just one? That's a goddamn bargain. His entry, by the way, was called Ari's Balls Are Weird. So congratulations on that. <laughs> so he won? How? He was in the 99.9th percentile, so 99.9. .9. So he, he went really far. He did really well. Now, yeah. you did the best I was from in on ninth the show. Place, yeah. ninth what was I? I didn't. I couldn't even find it. It was so far now. <laughs> on, uh, you're talking about on, uh, on in our group. Yeah, the tournament challenge. I know. I was at one point in time. Maybe when we were down to like the elite eight, I was like nine million something in the country, and I was like, oh, nice. I can turn this around. Now, granted, all my final four pretty much weren't in the final four except for Villanova. All right. And I didn't even have them winning the whole thing. Can the chicks who got pregnant after Phoenix the Super Bowl win get double pregnant after the Villanova win? Like, you know, what have one mean? baby that's four months old, another baby that's like uh, three you weeks old. You really don't old. know anything about how yeah, anatomy works. Science at all, doesn't dude. work like that at all. <laughs> I love how you guys took that fucking serious. Like, I really was asking that fucking question. Sam, Sam you only just say one baby at a time. You uh, don't understand how it's going. Okay, works. my bad. Thank you, guys. Speaking of one baby at now a time, you where's, know. The, where's the fight now nanny? Now you know. What, where is the fight nanny? This what, is, chick, what if she's having the baby? Right now, on the drive over? Well, she wasn't having it. Is I talked to her about eleven o'clock last night. What? Yeah, but it happens fast, man. I guess that's how oh, that works. Oh my gosh, guys! Fuck! Fuck! Shit! Hold on a second. Okay. Breaking news: this Ari just Shafir. Biden just had a miscarriage. Wow! <laughs> what a bastard. Dude, that's <laughs> so rude. <laughs> oh, oh God! Yes. Hey, look. As pregnant as you want to be, there ain't nothing a flight of stairs can't fix. Am I right, guys? Uh, are you with me, Sam? Sam, hello? Aaron? Oh, Aaron yeah. Aaron gets it. Aaron gets it. Yeah, he's nodding his head yes. That's a yes from Aaron. Aaron's saying, yeah, I agree with that. Flights of stairs. <laughs> so, guys, everyone listening, make sure to tweet out your excitement about Punch Drunk being part of Skank Fest. Oh, now um, we're not going to get into it. Now what? you're going to make it so we don't get in. 
No, we're already in. I just announced it. Yeah, he, he announced it. He's in charge of it. I don't know what you're even remotely worried about. <sighs> Buying a ticket to New York and oh, having nowhere to stay. God. Having nowhere yeah, to stay. I a place to stay and shit. Dude, how great was it to see the, uh, the uh, Italian guy light up fucking the final game, dude? The, the... Did you see Sebastian's tweet? Did you see Sebastian's Instagram? No. He's like, DiVincenzo, we <laughs> finally got our Nubia. Listen. <laughs> We finally got a gr- an Italian guy we can get behind. DiVincenzo. Did you go see what Jimmy and Joey's tweets were? Did you see what they were saying? They were just like, oh, a bunch. Oh, Olive oh Garden, God. your family. Did you see Dice shitting on yes. Sebastian? Yes, oh, I was just God. about to bring that up. Oh, God. Can we read this? Can we read this Instagram? Is yeah. it still? Amazing. Is it still? Uh, did Sebastian ever respond? Is it Andrew Dice Clay's Instagram? Is it yes. his Instagram? Okay. Yeah. You and getting it? There's a yeah, lot I'm of ways on. where you can go. There's no Is way. it a video or what? I'm no, on, I'm, sure. I'm on his Instagram. Okay. There's a lot of ways you can be like, there's no way he actually wrote Somewhere that right. because he uh oh, which one? It's that the yeah, there, right there. Uh, See it? Oh yeah, okay. That Got one. it. Yeah. You gonna read it, Johnny? Uh yeah. You wanna you wanna do it? I can read you it. Want to do the pull voice? it over here. Are you gonna do dice? I mean, maybe. Where? I don't see it. Oh, it's that one. Oh, uh, you got it pulled up. You, you, you can see it, Ari. No, you can't. They, they have it from this screen. I got, it. I got it in front of me. Okay, oh yeah. Here we go. Uh, I'd be. Okay, a... but I think this all stems from Dice oh. texting Sebastian and him not texting back immediately. But isn't this a new also, one? Sebastian's that's not the new. That's not. not... Holy What's shit! That? How long is that thing? Oh, this isn't actually the new one. That's an old one. That's from like two days ago, right? Yeah, I think there's an older one. Oh, one day ago, yeah. But read that one. This one's it's so long though. But he was pr- pretty much it's one rips- day ago. This one, it's got to be it. <clears throat> he pretty much rips on um, Sebastian, calling him an imposter. Uh, he's d- doing my act. Uh, if everybody's making fun of me to my face, <laughs> that appearance on Jim Norton radio show on Sirius XM was classic. Norton's so real about his years with me and saying loud and clear how I changed his life. <laughs> That's how I always get baffled by your Mark Marin podcast interview. The man tried to get you to tell stories of our time together, but you kept blowing it off. <laughs> of course it was a couple years ago, dummy, and nobody was paying attention. It was right at the beginning of you selling theaters, remember? There was a time when you went to the Venetian in Vegas and you were dressed in some kind of fucking cowboy shit. (laughs) (laughs) Guess maybe people were upset about the dice image, so you went cowboy. (laughs) And the picture is of him dressed exactly like Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, It's just a couple. It's a complete impersonation. Told you it was going to happen about 14 years ago, dummy. It's why I had to let you go. It was watching me before I could go on. Anyway, after the cowboy shirt in Vegas, I still texted you, break a leg. You never wrote back, remember? (laughs) And that's why he's so mad. We were talking about this in a text thread, all of us, and I go, the point of the story is, if Dice hits you up, please hit him back. Or don't go through his, don't rifle through his affair. (laughs) All right, didn't you rifle through his affairs? I did not. I actually went. Uh, we had a bet on whether or not he had a gun in his drawer, and I was nearby his drawer. But I did not rifle through any affairs. I was a common misconception. Did you rifle looking for a rifle? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you take your time eating, and let us know when you're ready. Was there a gun in the in the drawer? Funny. Here's where it gets, I like this part too. I was going through a breakup with my son's mom, an excruciating time in my life. It knocked me down for some time. And that's when you really started doing the dice thing when I was down. <laughs> I don't want to add fuel to the fire. I love Sebastian. I don't want to get into this, dude. I feel bad. It's crazy. What a crazy guy. It's weird. It's weird that, uh, yeah, that it, it got to that. You never told me once, you opportunistic little dick. <laughs> I did, because I'm the real fucking deal. And your worst fucking nightmare. Happy Bunny Day, XO. So how do you think this I like how started? he ends it Happy Bunny Day Does he like get people Telling him like Hey Sebastian's talking oh. shit About or he didn't talk About you on Marin How do you think No this no I know Sebastian I know that uh, Dice Has had something weird With Sebastian for a while And like 
I don't know, man. I just like this is all right. Dealing but how do you think dynamite, he finds right? out about this shit though? Because you think he's actually going and listening to Marin, or he's getting this secondhand, or somebody listened to it? That's, that's close what I'm saying. To him. I cannot imagine Dice like wheels for easy or some shit um, like yeah. that. I can't I imagine Dice guess, listening to a podcast. Oh, you know, you got to listen to Tinfoil Hat podcast. Sam Tripoli was talking shit about you. At this point in my life, I'm like, he wasn't talking shit about me. Yeah, you know, taking out of context, um, or. It was just something I did wrong that they were commenting on that they're more than welcome to comment on because they're a fucking yes. podcast. I've really so, gotten to guys the, aren't in my head anymore. Get away. I, I've really gotten to the point where like even if someone goes, Oh, this guy said that about you, I don't even get mad because comics like to just talk shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like exactly. they're like Exactly. Like what the And fuck? it's just in the moment. It's not necessarily like someone sent me the thing that, that Joe Rogan said about my podcast. He's like, Oh, that's actually funny. Yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't a zinger. Well, you could be like, oh, yeah. go, uh, go fuck, you know, oh, why does he got to talk shit about it? You know, it's like, it's just, even if they said Triple E's just a piece of shit, I, I, <laughs> I wouldn't even get mad because it's just okay. so in yes, the moment. Yes, you, you would. <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. You can't even take the mildest criticism on Twitter. I can. No, that's different. I don't want to get if into If somebody that. was like, uh, Triple E's uh, a piece of shit on a podcast, you would have it. Yeah, yeah. I would down. block that. If, like, no, no, let me if just say If it was Matt Edgar. Rend- no, Matt Edgar, Random. I would not do it. If it was a friend, a comic, no. I'm talking comedians talking about comedians. Okay. What, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying if Matt Edgar or somebody said you're a piece you of shit. <laughs> was on a podcast said you were a piece of shit, you wouldn't be like, bro, I helped you out so much. No. I just gave you gigs Bullshit. when you were a kid, and that's how you're talking about no. me. I, I, I Listen, dude, if believe. someone's making a like a bold statement to get a reaction, well, that's one thing. But if someone's like, oh, Triple E's such a fucking, you know, just a fucking piece of shit. You know, like like when comics just talk shit about each other. It's not like, if it's meant to be a statement to be heard, maybe that's one thing. If it's, oh, I'm going to get murdered on fucking Twitter by every listener here. But if it's just like. You won't see it. You blocked them all. <laughs> I, I do block them. We're, I do block them. We're making, we're, uh, uh, Sam, uh, all right, we're about to sell our most successful shirt. We're making Block by Sam Tripoli shirts mm-hmm. with the Twitter symbol for being blocked. Perfect. I like that. I mean, I, I know sell of at least all. 600 people that would could buy one of those. Well, I just I would say if you get blocked by Sam, we'll give you a free one, but we would be bankrupt uh, in about two uh, weeks. Uh, I say if you, you can only get one if you have been blocked by Sam, and uh, if you have to show us that you've been blocked by him in order to get one. Oh, I, I get that. There's no tweet I get more per week than the picture of got blocked by Sam. Yeah. I get yeah. six or seven of those a week. Yeah, I did it. The people would wear it as a badge of honor. Yeah. They're like, hey, I'm going in now. I'm about to say something to Sam and get blocked. And then I don't see the tweet. And then they come back and they're like, see, proved it. If you're blocked on Punch Drunk, oh. message me. I will unblock you. I'm cool with Ooh. that. I'm you cool got, with that. You, you just gave yourself a 40 hour week job. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm cool with that. I'm uh, cool with that. Let's, take, let's take a caller. Let's take a caller. There's no calls. No, we're not manning the phones. Yeah. No, Aaron's springing into action now. Aaron, spring into action. Feel free to give us a call. Aaron, wrong. Uh, is anybody ex- hey, real quick, do we want to ha- still have a viewing party on Saturday for UFC? The UFC coming up. Even? Holloway, it could be. Yeah. Do you want to watch? Do you want to do a viewing party? Whatever you think. I'll make a I flyer. Think a good replacement. What? Holloway's a good replacement. It's, he, I still care about his fight. I do care about the fight, but I don't think he has much of a chance. I didn't give Tony a chance, actually, now I think about it. Yeah. So I don't know why it's much different. But you know, that's the fourth time they were supposed to fight. Dana said he'll never make this fight again. That's 0 for 4 with these two guys. They'll never make the fight again. Dana said Ever. he guaranteed. They'll but this never is the first time it's again. Tony. If Khabib was a title, I thought it was 2 I, and 2. If Ferguson wins two more fights, he's got to make the fight again. Yeah. All right, we got a call. Let's, no see, what, let's see what we got here. This, there's no way this can go wrong. Uh, hang up. There we go. Sorry, Sorry. Ari. We lost him. Sorry. All right, we accidentally put you on hold, so we hung up on the call. Yes, so you yes. didn't Do we have the caller or no? No, they'll call back. They'll call back. Do we have to do it yet? Yeah, we're doing fine. We got to try Zoom. I'm telling you, Zoom is so much easier. What is Zoom? Zoom's like the new Skype. It's like a different mm. Skype. But it's easier. And then, like... You have like little boxes where people can appear in the little boxes. Like Google Hangouts. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just way easier. It's way easier. But Tony Ferguson, uh, Tony, Fer- let's, can we look at that UFC card? Yeah, sure. There's only two fights I give a shit about. 
Did you read Tony Ferguson's press release about his injury? Like he's doing it during a uh, uh, a, a promo tour, right? Yeah, but let me ask you. No, you don't do it, dude. We'll do it later said? at the end of the day. At the end. Here's what he said. I, I read it. The press release he put out about the fight. Okay. He said, "Let me ask you something, you half a fucking sissy." Do it as dice. Do it as dice. Looks like Seinfeld, Rogan, Sandler, Burr, Marin, who, by the way, didn't have stories about opening for me on his podcast. That's funny because you only opened for me, traveled, and stayed in my home with me. Yet no stories. My point. <laughs> this is what a, I call real that's, comics. That's yeah. not a press. Not, uh, I don't know why comics. that's not Tony Ferguson. All Tony Ferguson, big time comics, original comedians. <laughs> They call back. Now let me say the way it is, Pansy Boy Dice, my opinion. You don't have the time to call me back, and I was being cool ass fucker, ass sucker, too busy? Ass and sucker, fuck the metric in your book. That was just to try to keep me cool. Now that journalists see you are a fucking Dice impersonator, and the fact that you don't show respect to a worldwide star, the by, king of this shit. By calling him back. Hey, you dick face. I am from the streets of Brooklyn, New York. You are a little fucking Chicago suburbanite. Grew up idolizing me. You're then gonna sit back and let you steal my identity, my cadence, <laughs> my delivery. <laughs> now this he gets out of his out of his own. I, I can't believe you are a homogenized version of the real deal. Wait, big boy dice. Wait till I t wait till I walk onto the comedy store and see you on stage. I will make what Rogan did in Mencia look fucking nice. You are dressed like a waiter on your book cover. Look in your face is like baby boy dice is taking a shit in his pants. And when you see me, cockface, you're going to get the same fucking look. And you will shake your pants. You sure call back. <laughs> you wait, trickface. You fucking wait. And that's Tony Ferguson's press release. <laughs> wow. Tony Ferguson's press release is pretty Well, now bad. I understand why he couldn't fight. <laughs> He's very upset about not getting called back by Sebastian. Listen, apparently. dude, uh, I love everybody involved. I, I grew up with uh, Sebastian, all that stuff. I think when you start talking about people taking your essence, that's when we go a, uh, a little, it gets a little interesting. Let's just say that. He was the most famous comic in the fucking history of the world. It's going to happen. No one else wears those leather jackets. What's that? Yeah, because nobody else wears leather jackets. <laughs> Uh, I got the card here. What What do you want to? You wanna can you read now? the card off? Uh, yeah. It's uh, you know, Holloway and Khabib. We've got uh, Rose Namajunas and Joanna Jajic. I was saying this before, but I like that fight a lot, Rose and Johanna. Because I do too. Yeah. If I watch this, if I don't have my glasses on, and I'm far enough away from the TV, it looks like uh, a woman is beating the shit out of Tony Hinchcliffe, <laughs> and I like that a lot. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win that one? Rose. I think Rose. You do? I think Rose has her number. She's all yeah. about psych. She's all about like the mental and somebody mm -hmm. broke her. And I think, but she's a great fighter. It's not like she's not technically a good fighter. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, Joanna Champion. She is a great striker. So I think it yeah. could be interesting. That's the thing, though. It's like when people go like, well, it's just an upset. It's like, no, it was a fighter who showed her skill to beat the other one. So like when you're saying there's no way she could do it again, it's like, it wasn't lucky. She didn't try to hit like a home run off the, off the you know, yeah. off the dirt. She went with a game plan and beat her. Yeah. So she showed she could beat Joanna, but Joanna's not showing she could beat Rose. Yeah. I mean, like, it's like what we see when somebody has this, the, the boogie woman, which I hated that name. Just call you the boogie man. The boogie woman. Yeah, that's stupid. Like, really? Are we doing like, you know, Bigfoot? Like, Bigfoot at? Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> We're having fucking genders in these yeah. fucking... Boogie monsters? Are you fucking serious? Here's the deal with nicknames. You're not really the boogeyman. Yeah. If you're a dude who thinks the nickname is the boogeyman, you don't really try to convince people that you're the boogeyman. Yeah. You're just like, I'm reminiscent of a boogeyman. Yeah. Does the boogeyman know he's the boogeyman? I tell you, the girl you don't want to fight, the one that has a nickname, the Petri Dish. <laughs> That's a great point. Or date. You don't want to get in a triangle with how that about, fucking stink twat. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Someone about, asked me uh, if, if I could. Samantha the Clap Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was asking Jenkins. me. Who? Samantha the Clap <laughs> Jenkins. What a white oh trash God. name. <laughs> Samantha. White trash name with a black father. <laughs> yeah. Someone's trying to ask me who I'd rather bang. I'd have to go Rose, right? 
Oh, what, I, what do you mean you have to go rose? Oh, yeah. I don't want to, because otherwise it looks like you're just fucking Tony Hinchcliffe with a pussy. Yeah, but she's, I think she's got that East European stink. You know what I'm saying? Where we're like, oh, oh, I we, don't know. we don't believe in deodorant where no, I'm no, from. She you takes know? showers. I follow her on Instagram. She takes a lot of showers. What? She does. I, she's always getting out of the shower. Wait, she's so always getting out of the shower she takes? <laughs> she's it's a great Instagram. I recommend it. Hello, my friends. Oh, it's she's doing, she does show. a ton of sit-ups and hey, she takes showers. Just getting out of the showers. I always <laughs> <Yeah>. am. <laughs> she's eating like rice and shit. She's very healthy. What's the other fight? You know, they say your sperm tastes better if you eat a lot of fruit. Is that for your snatch? I think it's too? supposed to be pineapple. I tell you what, uh, that's not necessarily true because I've tried it both different ways. And I could have a hundred apples and then drink a couple of fucking spray downs of my own sm <laughs> smoke. And yeah. it, sure, it's delicious. Do you call your j dick Jamba Juice? Is that then, what it is? Well, you would think. But then, like, I could have a hundred Snickers and it tastes just as delicious. Do you store it up or do you take it fresh, like right out of the spigot? Oh, yeah. It's right from the hose. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> That's what they call you, Jason Tumbleweed Tebow. Yeah. Moicano in uh, Qatar. Is that right? <sighs> That's hey, are you okay? Or are you gonna die? Because we could use the views if you almost die on the show. Can we? Can we? Th can the three of us have an agreement that if one of us dies, we do it live on the show? Like okay. if we're gonna kill ourselves or anything like that? I'm totally down with that. I already said on this show how I'm gonna kill myself. I figured out the newest way. What? I'm just gonna zip myself into a body bag and wait. <laughs> so you're already there? Well, I, you'll ev like I'll eventually die. It might take me a month or two. Of, I don't know. Why do you have to be in the body bag, though? Why don't you just for convenience. So yeah, to help those guys then out. Then they can just show up and just pick me up. I feel like it would be better for the video stream, though, if we if you didn't Yeah, have that's true. Bag. Oh, can we put a camera in? For the Patreon. In only, the yeah. body bag so we can, like, listen to you talk your way to death? Yeah. That's cool. That's good. good. I'm cool. I like I'm that. Cool. Hey, so day four, still here. Bored as fuck. Still uh, here. <laughs> phone died three days ago. I wonder how many times you would shit yourself before you died. <laughs> I'm hoping a lot. It takes a while, really right? Really like stinks in here. Yeah. Yeah, really yeah. stinks. You really Anyways, your pants. how many showers has Joanna taken since I sit myself up? Seven more than I have. <laughs> she works out a lot, man. She needs showers. Man, I'm the one shitting you, my pants. You say that's so creepy. It's great. She takes a lot of showers. I'm man. just saying. She eats a lot of rice. I have a lot of faith in her. She's really healthy. I'm feeling like you're rooting for uh, the girl you're apparently stalking. Uh, apparently, I hope she puts the lotion in the basket. She's the one. She puts it all on Instagram. Man. What are some other fights? What are some other? Uh, so guys, Mo so we're, are we going to do it or not? Do you want to do the the live? I'm watching it. I don't care. Well, okay. I don't so this Saturday, I'm going to make a flyer. We'll put it out. UFC two twenty three. Correct. Live viewing party. Punch drunk at the uh, Sycamore Tavern. It's on uh, Sunset, one block east. Of Fairfax, For it is card, free right? to get in. It is free to get in. 7 p.m. Pacific is that yep, when it starts? Okay. Yep, yep. So if you want to come, and then Johnny's gonna think about if he if we can live stream it so you can watch us watch it. I gotta go down there to make sure. Yeah. All right, so let's do it. Are you doing anything tonight? They they I can do, do it a tonight. Thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. So guys, I'm gonna make a flyer because I'm a young Christian warrior, and we'll put it out. Hope you guys can come and hang out. All right. Uh, and you'll be this, making that this flyer fight. while he drives. What? Yeah. You'll be making that flyer <laughs> while he drives. I'll be making that flyer on the way home from the show. All right. He, All right. He literally did that while driving. He was making a flyer for a comedy show while I did driving. Witness that. I yeah. did witness that. Hey, dude. If a shark <laughs> stops swimming, he drowns. Okay. That's <laughs> so fight number three. And uh, then we got some guests we're gonna bring in Mo in approximately four minutes. Renato Mocano and Calvin Qatar. I've been waiting for this fight for a long time. These guys have been at each other's throats for a long time. Shut up. No, they haven't. <laughs> I know. I don't know. After that, it really well, drops off. But that's what I'm saying. There's two fights on this card I care about. What's uh, what's the fourth? What is it? Uh, Chiesa and Pettis? Is that right? Oh, uh, Michael Chel Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, versus. Oh, that's a good fight, dude. That's actually a pretty good fight. And it, I don't know who to root for because they all have bad tattoos. Usually, Anthony Pettis? Holy shit. Look how far he's dropped. He has dropped off. Is, do you think he's That's one of the what guys? what happens when you become a gatekeeper that you have to f face all of the best, and a lot of times they beat you. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you know. He's a gatekeeper. Him and Hendricks both fell off hard after the testing. Mm -hmm. After the testing, both of them fell off hard. Really? I think, yeah. That tiger tattoo is pretty dope, though. I'm getting a tattoo, I think, this week. Really? What yeah. tattoo? What do you Where? Get? I don't want to talk about it. 
What? Well, you you can't, just brought you it fucking up. Fucking dick. Don't, don't. Yeah, you, we'll I'm it. getting the punch drunk logo on my chest. No, but this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. That's just because I love this. Black He's and lying. white. No, I'm gonna go with full colors like that, dude. He's lying. You're a lying bastard. What are you really getting? Can at? we just talk about He's everybody really getting April tattoo, Fools the day before April Fools and like and mostly that was black people? Can we talk about that? I have no like idea. Like they what show you're up late about. to events and they do April Fools. I don't Fools know any the black day people, early. So. What's that? I remember hanging out with black people. So okay, okay, ahead. but I'm talking like what were they uh, up to? Anthony Davis from the the, the your the, team, the all Pelicans, the, the unibrow yeah, shaving. And then, um, that was a day before. Yeah, and Clipper Daryl put it out, and we're like, dude, you did it a day early. Why is that? Why is why do they do that? Is that is that like uh, 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 like Kwanzaa is black April Fools a day earlier than fucking white April Fools? I feel like we would have heard about that if that was true. That's what I'm just saying. A lot of early April Fools, really looking stupid. Are you really getting a tattoo? I am. And, what tell, you just tell I'm us, just gonna dude. go down there. Well, I already have this. You're not one. just gonna go down there and yeah. say, yeah, just whatever you want. You know what I want? Surprise get? me. Just oh, tell uh, us. I want to get that really cool uh, Black Panther that you see as the first. Uh, tattoo on the wall. The first Are you one culturally appropriating? Is that what's yeah, about to happen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. culture appropriating? <laughs> you bastard. I, who are you? Can I ask? Who is this angry lady? Dude, you the one you brought up getting a tattoo and you're not gonna tell us what you're gonna get? Uh, that is a good point. Oh shit, I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow. Can you oh, talk really? about it? Uh, I, I don't Dude, want to talk about I it. Mean, it's time to bring in our guests. What do you guys well, you're, think? You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit too. Get off the show. You sit in the back. We don't sit in the back. What? Yeah, we, we're gonna we've we hung up, we've hung up on some people. We take it at the end, the last thirty minutes. That's call it. No, no, no. no. Take one caller to give us a fucking uh, give us a direction. Get just like, off. Suggest a, suggest a topic for us to talk about. Okay. Well, one topic we can talk about is our good friends at Bet DSI. Bet DSI oh. for all your betting needs. That's right. Go to Bet DSI. Bet this weekend. Dot com. Use the promo code Punch Twenty Five, and you guys will get twenty five bucks. And anything you put in, let's say you put $1,000 in, right? You'll get 2000 in betting cash. That's how it rolls. Bet DSI for all your bet needs. I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to do a UFC uh, parlay, uh, some boxing matches, some playoffs all coming up. The Masters, the uh, Masters. Masters coming up. Masters are coming up. Tiger Woods, everybody's excited. By the way, doesn't it look like Nike went, okay, Tiger? We're going to get you back in. Here's some HGH and some fucking uh, uh, IHOP waiter snatch to make you feel better. Some international house of pancakes ass to make you feel better about yourself. Am I right? And that's our good friends at Bet DSI, everybody. Bet DSI. <laughs> please do it. There we go. I lost two bets. I lost Kansas over Villanova. Oh, that was uh, a dumb bet. You put money on yeah. that? 40 bucks got you 75. Oh, and, then I I bet, and then I bet another whatever. I break even if I got one of them, um, and I, I win money if I got Kansas. The other one was the over under on Villanova, and I've been sorry on Michigan and Loyola, and I lost that one by about four points. I put five dollars on that old lady, uh, the nun, the old nun getting pregnant, and uh, because it paid great, it paid great. I mean, so listen, guys. Uh, I mean, yeah. I forgot what I was gonna say. My head just fucking went. Said bye bye. Uh, why don't you introduce our guest? Uh, guys, joining us is our good friends Dave and Jack from uh, Ref Ratings, which is a new app, which to me it seems like, uh, I'll let you guys explain what it is, but it gives accountability to officiating, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So what's the name of the bet? It's called Ref Ratings. Yep. You can find it on all your app stores. Is it out yet? No, it's not. So. What? Um, right now we're uh, just starting the beta testing uh, portion of it. Is that, that, hold on, hold on. Is that Chef Dennis? Does no, look no, a lot no. like that Chef looks Dennis. like my cousin looks Angela. Like What's Dennis. your nationality? Armenian. Yeah, there we go. Guys, Armo's shows in over. the house. <laughs> shows over. Everybody. You guys can run Hollywood. Okay, down. We, we just... run the app business, okay? <laughs> you want to deal with shit? Go through Glendale apps, motherfucker. <laughs> you yeah, want an can. app? You want a debt pulled out of your car? You find <laughs> us. Bro, bro, you want that, bro? You come through us, bro, okay? Yeah, we did bring the white SUV. We're right oh. that back. Oh, so yeah. does he. That's so funny. I go, <laughs> right. dude, there's no... <laughs> Who was I talking to? They're like, I'm so tired of Armenian jokes about white guys having fucking white SUVs. My friend goes, you know you drive a white SUV. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
What are you playing, dude? What are you playing? What's wrong with you? This is, uh, sorry, this is the Turkish National Anthem. Oh, dude, oh, not nah. cool, Jack, bro. don't go anywhere. Stay not here. cool, bro. Can I just say I'm blown away by how much greens Ari put down? I, yeah. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, it's I mean, incredible. I, I, I just like doing the audio podcast, grazing on our podcast. It's just ridiculous. It's offensive. Stop playing that song, dude, <laughs> or else we'll kill this guy. So tell us more about your app. Tell us more about your app. Stop, Ari. Right, stop. It's loud. It's annoying. It's so loud. Wow. Such a good sport, Jay. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course it is. Uh, so explain us how your app works. You guys are beta testing now. Yeah, yeah, we're just getting rolling. I mean, it's a, it's a great opportunity for, you know, we're making it for sports fanatics, for people that tune into to shows like yours. Mm -hmm. So we're at a stage where people can actually have an impact on how this thing works, how it functions, how, you know, everything. Won't yeah. it just be, because people, when they rate uh, refs, they're rarely ever going to be like, that was a good call. That was a tough call to make, and you made it right. They're almost always going to be like, this is negative. So it's just a question of like, this ref got a negative 40, and this ref got a negative 70. So we're going to say the negative 70 ref is the worst one. <laughs> Not necessarily, because, again, it is going to be biased. That's that's definitely part of it, right? Yeah. You're going to see you're going you're, if But if a call goes in your team's favor, you are going to be like, oh, that was a good call. You know, like, so give it a positive spin. But So are you supposed to use this app through the game? So is the game going to be on the app? Yeah, so we there isn't the video uh, stream of the game, but we, right. there's a... I think you get in trouble for that, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but there's a live play-by-play -play of the game. So um, kind of like how other sports apps have it, you know, you see uh, like play-by-play -play everything that's happening in real time, except in our app, you get to vote on the plays. Ah. So it's not just a bad call or a good call. Ah. It's what's the right call. So we've got customized yeah. sports emojis. Is it a travel? Was it... A two pointer, a three pointer, block, charge. Yeah. Everything you can think of is right there at the tip Let of your finger. Let me ask you something. How much money did you guys lose in a bet that you guys said, fuck, I'm making this app <laughs> and had fuck enough. these guys? I'll tell you how crazy these two were. This is actually the brainchild of my wife and him. This is my brother in law right here. It's right. a family business. You it's married like an passion Armo. project. Congrats. <laughs> You should have seen the wedding. Uh -huh. I mean, you talk about a culture clash. My family's Midwest. I got people coming in from Indiana, yeah. from Western Pennsylvania, and they're just sitting there just. <laughs> we got right. like troops of dancers come. It was just it was everyone's wild. got swords. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got, we got bread on us. There's honey everywhere. People don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> did, uh, nice. did, now, my favorite part of Armenian uh, weddings is the uh, chuck the hummus at everybody that we do every time when we grab hummus and we throw it at the other family. Did you guys enjoy that part? We didn't do that. Okay. Didn't do okay. I don't know if that's an Armenian that must be tradition. A North, a North <laughs> Eastern Armenian. Sam, you, you, got, you got to forgive Sam. He confuses weddings with food fights. Okay. <laughs> um, so, so what made was there a particular game that got you ex to go? Fuck, we need an, an app to Russian. rate these guys. It wasn't a particular game. I think we just kept seeing bad calls and we're like, why isn't anybody doing something about this? You know? Mm. And yeah, it happened after a while. It was just like. Why don't we do something about it? Now, it, they got this website like 10 years ago. they have I mean, we've been thinking about this forever. I mean, yeah. you can think back to the 2006 finals, right? Yeah. Dallas, Miami. I mean, just ripped out of Dallas's hands. Game two, they had it. They're up 2-0. Game three, the whistle. I mean, everybody saw what happened. That's just, it's unbelievable. It's heartbreaking. People, I didn't see it in the Lakers-Kings 2002. Oh, it was horrible. I'm a Laker fan. Maybe I'm biased, but... Tim Donahue and others felt like uh, maybe there was something to push it to seven uh, how games out of game six. Lakers right? Boston game seven, where Boston's up double digits in the second half, and then the the Lakers go to the fucking line twenty five times, and the uh, the the, the yeah the, the fixes it fixes it. Let's zip that back to two thousand and eight though. <laughs> game two, Leon Poe has more free throws. Leon Poe. Do we even know who that is anymore? Leon Poe doesn't even know who he is. Exactly. He's wandering around somewhere in Westchester or something. He's got more free throws than the entire Laker team completely changes the series. Mm -hmm. We lose that series. Yeah. I mean, that's 
I mean, my uh, my wife was like a puddle on the floor in what? game game four. That, I mean, <laughs> Who'd they like, play? Who'd they, was Celtics. it Detroit? Oh, Celtics. It was Celtics. That was like one of the worst, most yeah. brutal series of recent memory. It's yeah, just I guess awful. you're right. Dude. That's I mean, where Allen went off that series, right? But it's it's not just basketball too. I mean, look at the Super Football. Bowl. That, I look mean, at the Super illegal Bowl. formation yeah. to win the game on that. You know, basically win the game, seal it for the Eagles. Or even uh, bo- boxing and MMA. It's it, it's rampant. Oh, really? I mean, it's unbelievable how much so officiating love changes that shit, you know? So yeah. basically what it is, is it's like, it's always going to be, I mean, I guess you're saying, okay, I like that call. That was, that ref made a great call there. Right. So it's basically whose fan base is more passionate and gets on this thing. will vote on who's has, but the I will, I will admit if I'm watching one of my teams and it's a decent call or so I'm like, yeah, that was, that's the right call. It sucks. Didn't go my way. And that's a tough call to make. But, yeah, us too. But and there's enough out there. I mean, you can actually see we've made a like a feature where you see what everybody else is uh, thinking about the calls and stuff, and it breaks it down by fan actually. So we yeah, because I was dicking around with this, and mm-hmm. and it, it's actually what your favorite teams are and all that sort of stuff. You yeah. gotta create a profile. Yeah, exactly. You have to create a profile so that we know exactly kind of like what your bias is essentially. Um, but then once you do that, plus it helps you put your teams on the top of the schedule and all that kind of stuff. Um, is there <laughs> something where is he falling asleep? <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, um, um, is there something where you know, like when you go to college, yeah. and you you know they, they test on a curve, they mm. always throw like the fifty-five-year-old like lady who's got nothing going on, who just <laughs> just is studying all the time, who gets a hundred, and then they got the guy who can't stop doing coke, and he just shows <laughs> up and hopes and staring off the Asian kid next to him's fucking test, and he bombs out. So you th- do you throw out the top me like if there's something always like. Let's say Tim Donahue's family's always like, like that call, like that call, like right, that right. call, like that call. And then there's somebody who like, you know, banged Tim Donahue's daughter and he beat him up. So he's like, fuck that guy, fuck that guy, fuck that guy. Uh, do you throw those out? Like the super top, high meat top and the bottom, or is it all coming together? So right now we don't have as much data coming in to see kind of anomalies like yeah, that. Yeah, you haven't launched yet. Exactly. Uh, but that's all the kind of stuff that we're going to be kind of, looking at in this run. So mm-hmm. once we start getting the users in, we, once we start seeing what kind of data comes in, um, that's when we're gonna see like, all right, we have to probably like, adjust a little bit of this to make it uh, realistic or more objective, mm-hmm. uh, all that kind of stuff. But the, the entire, you know, the app itself is so far pre- working pretty well. Um, is it only um, Is it only professional sports right now? Are you going into the NCAAs? And we how far to, do yeah. we go? Can I get Pee Wee games where I'm like, fuck Tom down the street. Yeah. Call the follow on my, on he's my fucking nephew. my wife and he's <laughs> keep calling my kid out. <laughs> um, right now, it's just the NBA. We're probably going to expand into baseball um, shortly. Uh, shortly. NFL, yeah. not yet. And, well, um, we're open we, have, position we have time for, for NFL, NFL just because football. it's, you know, uh, until it starts. Um, but yeah, NFL, NHL, and then, uh, yeah, college as well. So will we be getting into the UFC? Will we be getting into uh, WNBA? I mean, like, we're, we're boxing. I think I mean, boxing the, would be huge. Yeah, sky's the limit. I think we yeah. want to get into as many sports as possible. I mean, soccer is really that gold mine that's out there. I mean, it's just yeah. blue ocean. And yeah. you look at World Cup, three point five billion. You know, for the last World yeah. Cup in yeah. Russia here, it's gonna that's be a third huge. of the planet watches the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I love when they always like. The, the Super Bowl, the most watched program. Until, I'm like, not yeah. even close not to the World close. Cup. And now we got that not guy even, on. Not um, close. What's his name, Johnny? On, um, Zlatan. Ibrahim? Ibrahimovic? Zlatan, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, Zlatan, I can't believe he's playing. Do you see start. that? He's just yeah, hanging out. They're start. like, hey, yeah. you want to go in? We're kind of getting our asses beat. <laughs> So why not? He goes in. Good luck. And he just goes in and just starts doing all world kicks. Like was like two goals in five minutes. That was like the other side of it. Oh, dude, we got to go watch that guy. He still had jet lag. Yeah. Fucking legend. And then he took out an ad going, you're welcome. You're welcome, Los Angeles. How much balls is that, dude? That guy's going to fuck everything. That guy's going to fuck everything. <laughs> Uh, Ari sleepy. Ari, did you party all night? What happened? No, I don't know why I'm sleepy. I am though. Okay. It's probably to- that fucking gigantic salad and dinner you just ate. 
Yeah, baby. Nice, nice Thanksgiving dinner right before. <laughs> but yeah, it's easy for my face. I mean, we're thinking almost every sport. UFC is really exciting. It's one of our favorite sports. I mean, if you're rating in between, I mean, strikes, you know, your scores at the end. Early stop. Or, you break it down like that. Early, this guy gives early stoppages too much. This guy gives fucking you stand, too many stand ups. Yeah. Like that. I watched that Joshua Parker fight, Anthony Joshua. Oh, uh, that guy Michigan. was the worst. That ref and that, I mean, he literally st would stand in between them. The last 10 seconds, he stood in between them, lecturing them. Like, hey, and I'm like, the clock's ticking, asshole. <laughs> it's the most exciting time in a fight. It's a close fight. Let these guys hit each other. How about when they would get in the inside and then they would just stop and they just t hold each other because they knew he was coming? Yep. You couldn't do any of the inside uppercuts, the, the, he uh, sucked. the cross, you know, hits to the rib cage. Nothing, dude. Uh, did you see, uh, and Johnny, did you see that uh, uh, Wilder agreed to fight in London? Oh, oh they did? Yeah. He said he'd come. He'd come there and fight. Uh, rematch clause that if it goes to it would be in Vegas uh, or New York, uh, but he's gonna fight him there. Which, dude, I mean, you're dumb not to. It's a hundred thousand people. Uh, what are we talking about? Unification heavyweight fight. So the first time since the '90s, whoever wins this would have all five belts. Well, the problem is, it's like and both of them undefeated. Both of them undefeated. Well, the problem is this, dude. That you're going from London or England where you're you're fighting in front of 85, mm -hmm. 80,000 mm -hmm. to what? T-Mobile Arena? That's 20,000? That's why mm -hmm. he doesn't want to do it. You shouldn't do it in a fucking arena. You should find like the Rose Bowl during the summer and that's where you should fight. Where you can put 75, 80,000 people into that thing to watch a fucking... Dallas. Down, Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Yeah. That's where you go. Oh, That's like, what they always do. The how about where Tennessee, mile. where the Vols play? It's 105,000 se seats. Yeah, yeah Michigan. Michigan. Like those, that's Dallas why he doesn't want to fight. Because uh, unless they have the Raiders Stadium yeah. done then, then that could That'd be something be interesting. interesting. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't think that's not even that close to being done, is it? No, they got another. I think they got another seasons. season to go. I think maybe two. I thought it was I think two seasons. Twenty nineteen. I thought. Yeah, I thought that's what they're saying, but they're saying they don't. They're, they're wondering if it's going to be done by then. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see the L.A. Rams. That uh, looks good. Yeah, that's that going to be looks insane, cool. yeah. dude. Yep. It looks cool. So, how long does it take for you guys to put a sport into your app? So, if you go, okay, dude, football starts in August, right? Boom. You have right now what five months. Right. Yeah, we can pull it off. We, we mean, can uh, we can pull it off in five months um, for sure. It's, you guys just start grinding just, uh, some Adderall, do some gackers, and just fucking go to work. Uh, More Adderall <laughs> shoved up your butt. Go to work. Half of it is that. Half of it is uh, funding as well, though. That's right. Um, so it's been basically just self-funded so far. Um, that's why we're kind of limited to one sport. Um, and when we roll out uh, baseball, it'll probably be just for. Uh, the local games uh, in LA at mm -hmm. first um, just kind of uh, keep us going but yeah I, a new sport should take about a month I think uh, to roll out mm -hmm. uh, with if, uh, if the money wasn't an issue I think UFC I mean MMA because you probably just want to do UFC and some Bellators. Mm -hmm. So those are going to be and boxing. I think and are the easiest, the easiest ones yep. that you could, um, you could do. <laughs> We've lost right. Our... <laughs> it's fine. Let them go. Oh Let them go. Well, we were talking about this earlier. We may <laughs> get some ratings. Be too. quiet, sweet prince. <laughs> Did you see Johnny? Look what Johnny keeps doing. Putting the Z's on him. <laughs> <laughs> that was, there's Arian over there. Arian who laughed a little too hard at that Turkish stuff. Okay, a little too hard. Aziz on Ari. <laughs> Um, so I, I think the UFC is going to be good because those are like certain events, whereas like every week in football, there's 16 games. Yeah. There's 15 games or whatever it is. 16, yeah. Well, in yeah. NCAA football, just there's so, so many, many games. Dude, yeah. You're yeah. just going to have to. That's definitely going to be hard. NBA and the NFL. Just... NBA and the NFL are the two sports that make controversial calls. You know what I mean? You're, if you if you think you're out or you're game safe, by game basis. if you're out or safe in baseball, you just look at the replay and go, "No, nope, clearly out. We made the wrong call." But football and, and and basketball, you're like, "Hey man, I said it's a charge. You might not think Every it was. Play. Hockey, I, I well. said pass interference. 
you might have thought that was pass interference, but it was whatever. Right. You know, this, yeah. they're, they're calls that are just judgment calls. We got yeah. balls and strikes. Yeah. You got something yep. constantly happening yep. with baseball as well. Right, oh, right, right. Wow. Big news. So we're talking about Weber big traveling. Breaking news, Ari. Play the music. All right. Well, tra- yeah. Like, like, oh, yeah. Like traveling. Eight like, steps. <laughs> All right. We have breaking news. Seriously. Play the music. Honestly. We're about Let to me know when you make got some it. breaking news. Breaking news. Ari Shafir. Canelo GGG cancel. No. The... I saw that coming. But now he's is Triple G fighting somebody else. He said he would. It just broke. I can't okay. Understand. He's going to fight somebody else. He promised that he would fight somebody else on the same date. What a fucking dumb fuck Canelo is. Canelo's turning out to be a giant scumbag. Yeah, I drug test months ago. It was already never going to happen. It's a, a couple weeks ago. but it's, it's, You guys aren't buying the Mexican meat Of bullshit. course not. No, they did that on purpose <laughs> no. so they can all exactly. fucking like, oh, cheese. I don't not. know. Yeah. I mean, I buy that just as much as I buy every a lie Lance Armstrong said. Yeah. Or or everything John Jones says. Yeah, exactly. At John, least John Jones. Well, is doing at least right. he's doing. Yeah, at least he's doing blowing party and drugs. around. I yeah, love yeah. how they think that coke can help. You're, you ever done coke? You can't run. You can't do it. Your nose is clogged. Yeah, I'm not sure you're doing it to run. You literally have to do scoops in between the rounds. And you have, <laughs> yeah. to have a guy just got this great fighter. You have have a guy his diet and see if he's still a great fighter. It's not gonna work out for you. Yeah. 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 You'd have to have like a corner guy with a long nail just scooping. <laughs> you. Come on, kid, go, breathe. Like yeah. if you were coked up fighting, like John, you would tell because John Jones would be like, "Man, stop hitting me! I'm trying to tell you about my screenplay." I'm never gonna write. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, uh, dude, Canelo's turning out to be a scumbag. It's every, it's all the golden God, boys turning out to boys. be a scumbag. All the, all the golden boy people are all dickheads. That, you know, it's so interesting because Golden Boy was not that fighter. He was what, like mm. la, the last of one of the greats, where he would fight anybody. Like they're like, oh, you want to fight? Yeah, I'll fight. And then they fight. You're like, whoa, you're too small for this guy. Like, I don't fucking care, dog. I'll fucking fight this yeah. punto. And he'd go <laughs> and he'd fight. And sometimes he won, sometimes he lost. But he fought everybody. Now as a promoter, dude, I get it. I get it that, you know, you're like, oh, if he takes some losses, it loses. I don't think so. I think, I think your fan base is all based upon how, what kind of fighter you are. Like, do you put on exciting fights? Because there are guys in the UFC, you know, this guy might win. He might, Cerrone is a great example. You're like, yeah, he yeah, might win, yeah. he might lose, but man, you know it's going to be a great fucking fight. He may not be able to carry a card, but he is going to put on a great fight. So if Canal goes in there and bangs with everybody, he could always carry a card, even if he loses a couple. I wonder, do they say uh, a length of a suspension, Johnny? It was uh, literally just a tweet. From the okay. I mean, they were talking he could get up to two years. Uh, Why has he been bust? That means he might have been busted before. No, they always they keep saying mm-hmm. never been, never had an issue before this. So why would it be two years? I Usually know. the first one's That's like a year. Up to two years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, fuck. I just want to start the all drug division of just every combat sport where it's like, <laughs> no, go. you have to do the drugs. <laughs> oh, I just want to see mandatory <laughs> drugs. I want to see testing. Brock Lesnar versus John Jones. <laughs> Every b- b- uh, sponsored by cocaine, okay. <laughs> Sp- sponsored by El Chapo, okay. Oh, you mean you want you want to bring back pride? Yeah, That's I'm cool with that, yeah. dude. No regulations, just fighter rules, and you gotta come juiced. You have to piss hot. If you don't piss hot, you can't fight. Guys, we're now back to our one of our more popular segments, Ari's trophy shelf. Yes, Ari, talk about your trophy shelf. Uh, it's impressive, Ari. This shelf is a uh, cedar. It's a uh, Black lacquer on top of it, but what's most important is the trophies on top of it. Mm-hmm. Th- uh, Ari's three trophies. Shows you got Rose Battle right. Champion. The AYSO. Mm-hmm. Uh, b- worst player, best comic trophy. Worst player, best comic trophy, yeah. and then a David Tell game show. Well, look at you. Ah, there. nice. Congrats, dude. Congrats. Got his, Congrats. Got his three trophies. <laughs> That's the winner. Great. It's a winner. Caller. Dude, we'll take a caller a couple minutes, man. We're almost there. Last half an hour calls. No. Yes. Had calls throughout. Okay. Can we? Do we have any calls? Do you want to talk Armenians? What do you want? To now talk? that he's Apps. awake. Armenian sports. He's just, <laughs> you look just like my cousin. I want some. He's so demanding now that he's awake, isn't he? Yeah. All of a sudden, someone's not sleeping. They got demands. Guys, I'm awake now. I'm moving around. I need to take calls. Hey Ari, is it getting warm now in New York? Is it back to being fun to live in New York? It snowed yesterday. Oh my God. 
Dude, it's so hot here. Chicks are like trying just to be, can I take my top off for like if you have to? Oh, I'm going to Australia soon. It'll be a little better, but like, fuck. It'll be a lot better. Yeah, do, are, do you ever see yourself moving back to LA? I mean, less and less. I can see it as a possibility, but every time I think about LA, I'm like, what garbage people there are there. Oh, I, I heard that I you agree. were saying that. Do we got a call? I was talking to somebody and they said that you were saying that. They were like, Ari's never coming back. Every time he talks about LA, he hates it. Yeah. Well, might have been Matt Edgar. I don't remember who was saying that. Oh, I, still text me. He's like, how come you hate LA? I'm like, or I'm like, I don't know, probably Instagram, I guess, is what makes it what happened after worse. But that's just the point is I hate it. No, All right, you're great. on with Punch Drunk Sports 612. Holla at your boy. 612, where are you calling hey, from? Sam, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. I love Minneapolis. Twin Cities. I'm looking out my window. We got about six to eight inches of snow falling right now. Twin <sighs> game outside on Thursday. Should be good. Can we do some oh. fake videos of having huge earthquakes out here so nobody <laughs> moves here? That's why, our, dude, tra have you guys noticed the traffic's gotten incredibly worse like it's visibly worse yeah it's incredible yeah it's like oh it's a sunday at noon i'm on the 101 and it's bumper the bumper listen guys television stopped they're not hiring people anymore no more te no more movies are made here stay the fuck home okay the chicks stop putting out they're all lesbians now <laughs> there's no coke out here nothing's good's happening minneapolis what do you want to talk about oh i was just wondering if uh dice was still in the room is Dice here? No. Uh, he might be. <laughs> no, when are you guys coming back to Minneapolis? I saw Sam, I met you here. Triple E, or Tebow, you just didn't come with Trent Azizi. Yeah, you know, I, I did St. Ago. Louis. I didn't do uh, I, Minneapolis. I, I got to schedule it. I don't know where, when. Hey, would you go on our friend's ref rating app and rate the refs? I was hoping they were going to start with UFC. Oh, that's that, that's a good point. See, you guys got to get in the UFC game. No, Are you right. UFC guys? That's why he just got. Dealt we with. love UFC. Yeah, we'll get into it. Hello, you're on with Punch Drunk Sports, where winners win. Where winners win. Yeah, what's the word, dude? Yeah, what's the word, dude? Can hey, I? Hey, what's up, guys? Who's this? Don't hang up on me this time. Turn turn your thing on music. Turn your thing on music. Guy, turn your radio off. Turn the thing on. Um, I am not even listening to it anymore. I just took a call. You're on my. I was listening to you on my phone. Now I'm calling you off my phone. So. Okay. Okay. Um, I, you think Odell is gonna get traded? Yeah. I mean, depends on what the uh, how much they can get for him. Like, if you were a team. I don't think he does, but. I I, I don't think he's gonna be there Maybe long. Dallas. I think the riding is on the. I I. He's a Dallas kind of guy. He is a Dallas kind of guy. I'd be shocked Cowboy guy? if no, they I'm traded a Ram him. Guy. I'm a, I'm if a they local. traded him to a division rival, I would be shocked. If he goes somewhere, they're going to probably ship him off to the AFC somewhere. If he goes to the Rams, it's over. Yeah, hey, we're bulking up. Rams are in, good. The Rams probably top four NFL team right now. I think they'll figure out golf a bit this year. I think he'll come back down to earth, but the defense is going to. Pick and up, you, uh, I think Rams a need. A, I think Rams need a receiver. Losing uh, uh, Watkins didn't help. Uh, they need another guy. Hey, dude, put your uh, turn, hey, off nice radio, turn off the radio. Turn off the radio. No, I don't think. No, I don't think. Hey, guys, if you call in, turn off your computer, your phone, because we can hear ourselves, and it makes for shitty radio. And put it on mute. Put it on mute. Ronan and Bonin. Ronan and Bonin, what's up? Eight five. Nine, where's that? Why won't you faggot ass put a hot dog up your ass? Okay, I mean, seriously, there, there what the go. hell? Okay, all right, dude. That's good. I think that was That's for you, good. Ari. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. I love how he, he That's called how he, me a faggot. <laughs> But, but that I, was a perfect I example. Put meat in my ass. I love that. That was a perfect example of having your computer on mute. I love it. Hey, dude, why won't you do this gay shit, you faggot? It's like, okay, that makes sense. Hey, that makes a lot of sense. In the question, where's where's the eight five nine? Welcome to Punch Drunk. Hey, why won't y'all faggots shove things up your assholes for my entertainment? <laughs> That's a fantastic point, yeah. sir. Sam's doing it. When I'm in next, he's gonna do it. Okay. I believe you. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go. We went this far. We have uh, half an hour to go. <coughs> half an hour to go. At least you're gonna do it, Sam. When I'm when I am in next, which is who knows when that'll be. Maybe May. Who knows when? But I, you're gonna pay off your bet. Okay. There's no way you're not. 
And I think you're going to realize. 2 like, one oh, just, hello. You're on with Punch Drunk Sports and a wide sports, awake. Man. Ari Shafir, what's up? All right. Ari, great idea of bringing these phones. Caller of the day. <laughs> yes, the Ari, day. Ari. Look what we do. Well, I like how people bitched for a year when we couldn't take calls. And then they just and shit since them back. we've been able to in the new studio, no calls. Or if they do, they fuck it up. Big Ari, time. are you excited about the Yankees, dude? Are you kidding me? Fuck yeah. Talk about it. It's going to be an amazing season. I mean, the offensive output we're going to put out, it doesn't really, season one will start till the playoffs. All that matters for the regular season is will we break the home run record of 264 home runs. Last um, year, without Stan, we got 241. Probably. 23 off the pace. How's your pitching staff? Who gives a fuck? They're fine. CC pitched fine. Tanaka <laughs> pitched okay. You know, I wish you would take more stuff in your mouth as you talk on the show, whether it's drinking or eating. No, you know? Yeah. It'd be great. It'd be great. Why don't you do why don't you just suck on a dildo while you're doing it as well? I would actually really like that. I mean, if you have a dildo, I don't have a dildo on me, but surprising. Send Ari a dildo. Shocking. Are you guys Dodger fans? Dodger yeah. fans, yeah. I How think about, the Yankees are going to be exciting as hell, though. I don't know if you have a game today. You probably get rained out, right? Yeah, yeah. We got snowed out on Monday. Snowed out. I got snowed out. Yeah, but Dodgers look good. I mean, got to get JT back. Got to get, you know. Henley Jansen is finished. Ah, uh, come on. What, three games, four oh, games I'm sorry. in? You're right. In 18 ERA, right, it's not, uh, it's not sh- bode, bode terrible. You're right. You, it's you good, know what it's I was sign. hoping is that... It's uh, better than it's been. The so. Houston Astros would have invited... Uh, Dave Roberts to uh, their their unveiling of their their victory, so that because he's the big reason that they won it. His in game analytics and his notion that we got to start Godzilla the pitch in Game Seven because he's so uh, clutch. You know, because he didn't get Jesus lit up Christ. before. Why yeah. Alex Woods is just sitting there who fucked them up. If you know you're gonna go to Kershaw by inning three or four, why not put Woods in? Start, and if you got to use Darvish, use him at the end of the game if you have to. Yeah, you don't bring in the guy that's turning green, is nervous as fuck, and just like, oh, oh, oh he's pacing around, doesn't know fuck what he wants that. to do, and you got the Cy Young winner or whatever yeah. who's just itching to get in the game, begging to go in the game. I think Dodgers are going to be fine. I think they're, they're no, going to well, be fine. Well, it's yeah. too late. We lost the World Series. I dropped two grand and mushrooms on that fucking game, too, and I fucking... What do you mean, you... Paid for it with mushrooms, or you took mushrooms? I took mushrooms at game two. Wait, that's never a regrettable thing. Why would you? Yeah, I don't know about a Dodger Stadium on (laughs) that. That probably made it. All all I did was trip on one. All the bad Mexican facial tattoos. I mean, they just doodle on their faces at this point. (laughs) And two, how many undercover cops there were. You could just tell who was undercover because that's hilarious. Because you were on mushrooms. Yeah, everybody's (laughs) undercover cop when you're on mushrooms. (laughs) Dude, it was literally like 10,000 undercover cops at this goddamn game. I don't know. what I mean, why would they wait not buy tickets? 10,000 undercover cops everywhere. The entire section. Undercover cops. They're all, all you looking at eat. me. They're all just all staring at cops. me. That's and they knew. They knew, I, they knew I took mushrooms. They knew. <laughs> it's just rude. It was amazing how many undercover cops and Russian spies were at this goddamn World <laughs> Series game. So rude. Dude. All Russian spies. Undercover cops. So rude. And then a few Mexicans. <laughs> so rude, dude. So rude, dude. Hi, you're on with Puncher and Sparks. 315, that is... What's 315? 315 is Indianapolis, no, it's Phoenix, Indiana. No, Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. Oh, no, it's no, Syracuse. it's Syracuse. Uh, Syracuse, Buffalo. Syracuse. Hello, you're on. What's up, Cuse? Ari Shafir will be in your town this week, Ari, or next week? I will be there on Thursday, Syracuse. Albany on yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Syracuse on Thursday. And guess you- what? You just I got, got 10 free tickets. You just Jordan got 30 excited. free <laughs> tickets, dude. <laughs> you have 30 free tickets to see Ari Shapir. Yep. You just got 30, 30 free tickets. You can take those, resell them for even more, make more money. 30 free tickets. Ari, how's he get his 30 free tickets? Uh, you go to skankfest.com. Slash uh, Ari Shapir. Uh, uh, Ari Shapir.com slash skankfest. And there you'll have a link for the 30 free tickets. 30 free oh, tickets. thank you. I want to thank you also for all the hard work you've been doing on Skankfest. Oh, that, yeah, this makes it all worthwhile. I really <laughs> appreciate you appreciating it. I, I knew you would. I knew you would. I was wondering if um you showed your belt to the um app guys yet. No. Oh, no Ari. Ari. No. <laughs> no. No. 
No, hang up on this guy. No, no. Damn it. Sorry. No, it's rude. Can you be more clear? Five, six, two. Hello, you're on. <laughs> Wait, rate a ref. You can yeah. now rate you the refs of your game. Uh, we're excited about it. It's about to come out live on all your social media. Holla at you, Glendale. Go on, five, six, two. All right, well, I just want to talk about, uh, you know, I was at the Dodger game on Mushrooms a couple times, and I couldn't stop wondering how great the grounds crew was. Just <laughs> yeah. <from my> article, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the things you notice, like, yeah. I just – who knows what goes on in the background, you know, when you're like sober, because there's so many things that you could pay attention to. There's a lot of but, hot uh, Mexican yeah, chicks. There's a lot yeah. of drunk Mexican guys who, by the way, drunk Mexicans love to get the wave going. That's all oh, I yeah. know is you got this, hey, follow me. And everyone's <laughs> like, okay, dude. And you're like, a fight's going to break out at some point. And then they just all get on because eventually someone hits a home run and we recalibrate and then it starts over. It's always that group of little kids in left field running back and forth in the middle trying to get the little the wave going. <laughs> Mexicans love the wave, dude. stop the whole time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Dodger, you think we uh, go back? Yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Welcome to Hang Up on Our Listeners. Uh, <laughs> hello. Oh, you hung up on that guy too? Okay, here we go. You guys. 404. 404 in the house. How are you? You're on with Rate a Ref. Ref rating. Go to your app store. It's soon to be out. Rate those refs. By the way, you guys really want the app to blow up? If you really want the app to blow up, pro wrestling. Pro wrestling. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, pro wrestling. Those guys are diehard. They'd be like, fuck that man. He fucked Hacksaw. Fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck that guy. That, that, that tackle. That was white. a fucking three count. That, that ref's always looking in shit. the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get licensed? <laughs> How do you get licensed? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll hit that next after. Hey, baseball. yeah. Have you guys seen that YouTube video of that like excited boxing ref? Oh yeah, oh, I love it. I love it. Which one? Yeah, I would love to become a boxing ref. I think that'd be fun. I always wanted to ref your the fight between you two. Yeah, Ari won't fight me. Ari what are you talking about? Not? You won't fight me. Four oh four. Hi, three one nine. Where's three one nine? Three one nine is uh. Uh, Iowa. Court, Courtland, Iowa. New York. Wow. Courtland, New York. Home of Pat Meltich. Home of Pat Meltich. Uh, Pat. Uh, I'm actually, since you guys are talking about ref, and I'm actually an MMA judge. Oh, oh let's right. hear this. What, at, at what level? I mean, yeah. what what uh, organization do you? The, 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 the local circuit yeah. in, in and around the Midwest. I'm certified in the ABC states. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's just it. say uh, the cauliflower so, level. Association. It's everybody's got cauliflower. Do you know the chicks in Iowa think that's sexy? Isn't that weird? Did chicks in Iowa have cauliflower hey, ear? What's that? Cauliflower ear. Oh, not my wife. Uh, she does not like it. Dude, do you know where, like you know where you got to worry is when you hook up with a chick and she has cauliflower pussy because that thing's been taking a that's beating. No you know what I'm saying? <laughs> cauliflower pussy is that's that's a chick that's been around right, the map. Dangerous. Uh, hey, so uh, what do we think? <laughs> What do you want? Uh, so you're calling in. Uh, what is the biggest misconception do you think about what people think of MMA refs? About the refs? Yeah, like everyone's uh, like, oh, uh, this guy's an asshole. Like it's not that easy, or the biggest thing that they that. Oh, it's not easy. Oh, I'm sure. I'm I sure. could have gone to one, the seminar I went to to get certified to be a judge. It was a two day thing, and the other day it was to be a ref. But I didn't want to be a ref. Like it's. You stop a fight too early, then you're the biggest piece of shit. Yeah, you damn. You stop it, it too late, it, you're no. a moron. Can I let me uh, out? I'm gonna wait there for just... a second uh, and just say that it's very easy. But if you don't, if you can't do it, you're a fucking pussy and you're a faggot with no eyesight. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, That's pretty nice. specific. Nice. You gotta download the app. Already. That's pretty specific. I, I, I've <laughs> we, always we wanted that kind of feedback. I've always wanted to know this about about when you are uh, being a judge, not not a referee, but a judge in MMA. How do they and when when you get certified or they train you, what do they say about uh, defense and about ring control? Like if you're pushing the pace, how do you score okay. around? And if you break it down for you, dude. If I if you shoot at me so all the time and I sprawl a lot and I constantly defend and I wall walk and I don't get taken down. I feel like it's hard. 
they, we've always said that on this show. They don't score that properly. Okay. So it, the way that it broke down at the conference I went to, the seminar I went to, um, so say that was all that happened was shooting and sprawling, shooting yes. and sprawling. Yep. The guy who's shooting it. That sounds like a great porno. By the way. Because <laughs> they don't give points for defense. They give points for the aggressive. See, and that's, I've always thought that's fucked take up. The fight somewhere. I always thought that's been fucked so up. So, like, if that was all that was happening, but like, what I was taught, <clears throat> pardon me, was effective striking, effective striking, and effective grappling are the number one A, one B. They're I get equal. That. Who is doing the most effective of trying to advance and finish the fight and do damage? That's number one. And then after that, you start looking at. Okay, well, he was more aggressive. Maybe they both landed about the same, but he was definitely pushing for more. You know, then you start breaking in all that. My point is, I've always thought that it's been backwards when if somebody is pushing the pace and unsuccessfully grappling, and I am a good defensive fighter and I'm successfully defending you, you get points for pushing the pace, and I don't get points for successfully defending that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a- and I mean, and they'll tell you like, don't call it points because you're not giving points. But like, but it is to me like if you're like that was a big they we because at that seminar we would be like, well, would you Drunk. get points for this? And the, the guy would be like, no, you're not giving points. But how many people? Um, how many people were at your like, seminar? Like, have that defense, but do some damage too. You know, defend that takedown, mm-hmm. but pop a couple on the way out, and right. you're going to get a lot more, you know, points per se. But, um, yeah, it, it it's fun. I did a show where the main event ended in a draw. Well, I, I, it was, I was hoping I you were going to say murder suicide. <laughs> <laughs> I had it ten nine one way. Another uh, judge had it ten nine the other way. And then the other judge saw it the same way as me, but had a, had a ten eight for the third round. Yeah. And so it came out to a draw. So what kind of and a, um, what what real quick what ahead. what is uh, it, it's it's got to be we've seen it before where refs on on the court or on the field, and I'm not sure maybe if it happens with judges as well. But it does does the atmosphere in the arena, the field, affect you at all? Like, do people going crazy for some strikes get you go, okay. Home and away, yeah. You know, and I mean, does it affect it? I mean, is there such thing, let's be honest, and I, I'm not sure if you can actually answer this, but home cooking. Is, there, is home cooking a real thing? I'd imagine so. I mean, I can't say, like, I, I, I don't know. I... I came up fighting with a lot of these same guys now, or at least the guys that they train with. So I kind of know everybody a little bit. And then I got out of fighting and now I do this and I stay involved. And so like, I don't know, I, I get pretty tunnel vision, but I could absolutely see that uh, the hometown guy land a big shot. It for sure happens. Now, I'm sure those things are endemic to all the sports, yeah, right? I mean, you got like rookie versus veteran. You got all, yeah. Go on, Ari, what? If the crowd goes crazy, that must make it go like, oh, that was yeah. better. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, the big. Biggest... I think that's more if you don't know what you're watching, though. Like. Well, that that's I think a guy personally have a pretty good base of watching a fight. Well, the big problem uh. with boxing with uh with MMA early was they were using boxing, uh, refs who yeah. didn't understand grappling. That was very striking. problematic for about five years early on. They you know. Were, yeah. Uh-huh. Now, they had no you... idea what they were doing. Are you licensed through the state? Or are you licensed through the organization? What, what that... it is. So, all right, there's this guy, Rob Hines. Oh, good old Rob uh, Hines. You, you might have seen him ref on Bellator. Yeah, yeah talk I know to my man, Big Bellator, Rick. He'll license and you. He goes around and does. Yeah. So I went to his seminar, and it was, I mean, the test, we sat through a whole day of, like, classes and stuff, and oh, he did brutal. two different things. He showed, <laughs> showed 10 different submissions in video clips, and you had to know what submission it was. And so, like, you know, certain things like uh, um, uh, Anaconda. Gator roll. Can sometimes. Don't want yeah, none you know, unless you've things. got buns, hun. And then uh, then the written test, <laughs> you had to get 80% to pass. And only 10 of the 20 that were there passed. Oh, God. God. Yeah. All you have to get is a low B and half the people. Who's applying for this? <laughs> I, 
I know. Hey, you, but uh, I mean, if you can't do any better than that, you fucking shouldn't be judging. Fight. But, no but are you are you do you are you licensed through the state or through whatever like Iowa just, cauliflower fighting? The, I think it's just Big Rick. Big Rick's it's licensing. Through the, the ABC. I think it's the the American Boxing. Okay. All right. So it is some sort of thing. All yeah, right, dude. America, something like this. The ABC states. Uh, I stay right here in Iowa because I'm just MMA. So I've gotten to know some of the promoters around here, and I can work every couple months and just do it for fun. What's one thing yeah. Iowa chicks are known for? What are they known for? There we go. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Five one three. What organization are you licensed with? Hey. Powerful, powerful punch truck sports podcast. I can't believe I got through to you guys. Hey, thanks for calling in. Uh, we like Sam? your excitement. I have a feeling this is gonna go bad. Okay, go on. It's not Sam. Yeah. I'm super happy to have you back this week. Thank you. Dude. I have not been able to listen live. I don't know what the resolution is. I can't wait to hear the iTunes tomorrow. But the number one reason I wanted to call in was because of uh, last week's episode with Vape Exhale. I yeah. immediately purchased that thing. Thank you. It's great. I used my Punch Drunk Sports podcast uh, promo code. Awesome, bro. Saved a ton of money. They shipped it within an hour, and it was here in three fucking days. I'm yeah. Oh shit. Boom. That thing's great. I really loved it. How high? Are you? you are so high right the now. We hear the amazing. wind blowing from the bomb. <laughs> <hit>. <laughs> what are you guys talking about right now? Just we're talking about life, buddy. We love you to death. Thanks for calling in. I just I can't take the wind sock. There's Ari's. Oh shit! Back, take so. a hit, dude. Take a hit. Uh, it's right behind you. The one up, that one. Oh, I, I think that's what it is. Yeah, that thing's great. I was just high like the rest of the day. Yeah, it's a great body high. Are there a sponsor right now? Yeah, what's a promo code? Uh, use the code. Go to Vape Exhale. Use the code Punch Drunk. And it gets you, it saves you almost 50 bucks on that thing. God damn, man. And it really is the best vape I've ever used. I'm not even a big vape guy, but that thing's legit. Like How I was, is it for Coke? Uh, I don't know, but I'd love to find out. Is what? there a Coke vape? <laughs> Coke, like that, where you like, it's north it's called crack and, pipe. And then, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's called a fucking crack pipe. Um, What are you doing, sir? What? No, I was talking to Sam. Uh, welcome. You're on the air with Punch Drunk. How can we help you? Fuck what's this. up, Keaton? How are you, buddy? What's up? What's up? Not much. Just here in snowy ass Minnesota, like that other guy a couple uh, couple minutes ago. A lot of Minnesota is calling. Really yeah. quick. Sure, go for it. Jason Tebow had one of the best sets I've ever seen in comedy a couple weeks ago. Oh, it was at. Spoiler alert, comedy club. Yeah. Oh, about that wow. new movie, Annihilation, where the lady and her husband both turn into ghosts in the fucking lighthouse at the end? Yeah. Oh. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. One of the best bits I've seen. <laughs> it, it blew my fucking socks off. Wow. <laughs> That's wow. very well done. Uh, yeah, exactly. that was a that was a great that was a great set that I had. Also, uh, I was at Spoiler Alerts and I watched uh, that Gary Shanley thing. He dies at the end. The Gary Shanley documentary. Oh. So spoiler alert there too. Mm. All right, if all right. Saw that coming. Spoiler alerts. I saw that. I'm watching that now. First one or second one? I, you know, the, the Gary Shanley one? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm saying, are you on the first one or the second first one? First one. Okay, it's great. Second one's better. First one's great. I want to see, because the thing about Gary Shanley that's so amazing is how long it took for him to make it. Like, he couldn't get anything going for over 10 years. Well, stand-up wise, but I mean, he yeah. was hit the ground running with writer. writing shows. I mean, he was writing Sanford and Sons hey and all that shit. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 253, you are two, five, three. on Cartland, New the, York. the ref rating app. Yeah. Rate your refs. My question is... Okay. Mm. There we'll we say go. Say it again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, bye -bye. Yeah, Guys, we love you. Call in on a line that works. Don't be in a wind tunnel. Don't be eating food. <laughs> Don't drop the word faggot on us because Stand we are. Question. I have a question from the caller's point of view. Hey. Um, let's say I'm in a wind tunnel and I'm busy trying to get through it by eating hamburger meat. Um, <laughs> what, what should I be calling or waiting? How, do you, how would you play that? Wait, you wait, wait games. until you get home. Uh, uh, you know, wait, just wait, wait. Or, yeah, interesting. or just shove a hot dog up your ass. Whatever you want to do. Uh, we got any more? No more callers. Damn. Hey, I should mention, too, not just rating the apps, but not just rating the refs, but chatting with your friends. We have the tailgate app. So, like, we're talking all this shit to each other about MMA, about calls, about the, the Raiders or the, or the Rams and all that. 
but you can create these tailgates within the app itself. So you don't have to get out of it and get on so, these stupid So it's long everybody that's watching, chains. let's say that 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 baseball game or that football game or that basketball. It's all the people watching the you know Clippers in the playoffs. You know, uh, there's no yeah. way. There's no, no. way. You know, it'd be we great if you teamed up with Grinder, put that on there, and then together, <laughs> like guys could fuck their friends while they rate the ref. We can share your uh, your team status. Yeah, status. team status. Yeah. Clippers have eight. Three, <laughs> oh, two. Holla at your boy. <laughs> Clippers are almost out of the playoffs. The the Pelicans are down to the last fucking seed, one game above Denver after losing four straight. This is gonna come out of the fucking wire where the Pels can make the playoffs or not. I'm telling you something, I, and I'm. I don't want the Clippers to make the playoffs. I don't no, either. I want no, refs. No. Hold on, you're not Clippers a Clipper fan. We're Clipper fans. I know you are. I know you are. We want. I want high picks, dude. I I mean, dude, that piston picks looking like it could get real. I mean, dude, I want one of the good guys. Here's the thing. Golden, I'm saying it right now. Golden State does not win a world championship this year. I agree with that. I, I think it's Houston, or 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 even more likely Toronto. Uh, Toronto. No, both shit their shit their pants in the playoffs. But dude, I, I'm telling you, the team to watch, and nobody's talking about Portland, dude, because they have everything you need to win a champion. Three All Star level players, one franchise player, and two cold blooded assassins who can hit the shot when the screws are getting tight. That's what you need to win a champion. Depth on their thing. They got tons of guys who can shoot everything. Portland is a dude. Golden State would They're see Portland in the second fucking round. That's a that's. And, a, and they'll they take them six games, but that's about it. You don't think so? My uh, phone's fucking up this time. No. Hey, Hello? dude. This is yeah, a Christian. You sound hey, better. Hey, buddy. This is a Christian podcast, and that language <laughs> won't be tolerated. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? Hey, what yes. up, buddy? Yeah, I was wondering what your favorite part yeah, of the game week was. What? Favorite what? Part of Skank, Part of Skank Week. Week. Oh, uh, you were saying when we were out here? Yeah, okay. Johnny had two guys going once. Uh, I don't know. The podcast was great. I had fun at the show. The podcast was great. Hang up on the guy. Hang up on the other guy. 302. <laughs> 302. Welcome. Where's 302? Delaware. 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 Is that still a state? <laughs> one of my one of my favorite places I've ever bombed. How are you? Welcome to Punch Drunk. What do you want to talk about? I'm gonna talk about the Sixers possibly winning the championship this year. Uh, I don't know if they can win now. Marquez Fultz is a fucking real deal. That guy's the real deal. He can't shoot. He can't play. He's playing. Is he bad? Yeah, he's he, bad. He's actually playing pretty good. Yeah. I was just gonna bring that point up. He's For fucking five months, I gotta hear how this guy's on his deathbed. He may never walk again. He can't raise his left arm. And then he finally comes back and he's lighting it up. Dude. I'm like, how does it go from one to the other? <laughs> Try it, Sammy. Hey, what's up? Uh, put the kids on. We want to talk to them about the importance <laughs> of uh, refs and uh, vaping. So get them on. Get them <laughs> I, on real quick. I think that's one of your challenges. You got a young team and you're going to have refs aren't going to give them any love. Yeah, I yeah. think they're going to go up oh, against right. you. You're going to get Cleveland. You're going to get somebody. That's a great point. And, and they're just not going to get the love. They're going to be driving down. They're going to be aggressive. Hey, real quick, before we bring in 323, three, three, real what? quick, 619, what do you want? <clears throat> hey, what's going on, Sammy? Calling in from the chill out zone. Okay. Oh, he's on the chill oh, zone. Chill zone. You you got to chill. You got to cool off. He's cool got to cool off. Cool, cool down. down. Cool down. Real cool quick. Down. What's up? Six months. Hey, what do you think of Marquette King? I'm what pissed that now? they dropped him. I'm pissed that they dropped him. Two punch occur. Yeah, I'm pissed that they dropped him. We didn't have to. Joining us on the celebrity a hotline brought to you by Bet DSI. The Bet DSI celebrity hotline. I believe it is the one and only. Who is it? Three two three five. Who is it? <laughs> yeah, look. Dice. It's Andrew Dice Clay. Everybody, welcome. Oh. Dice, is it true that Ari was rifling through your affairs at one point in time? I'm fired up right now. So much I can't even talk about Ari rifling through my affairs. Good, good, good. <laughs> Let's talk about Dice, what's on your mind. Dice, what, what are you so upset about? You said you're fired up. Right now, I don't even have the hammer, Ari, not even the ball team. I what? got the sledgehammer already. Oh, Ooh. shit. You've never brought the sledgehammer out. Usually it's just you're a What are you mad about? With Seb it's Sebastian we're talking about, right? I called my friend Gallagher, and I'm going to hit Sebastian with the sledgehammer. Wow. Oh, oh man, God. why? You actually asked for permission to use Gallagher's sledgehammer. Yeah. That's, what a professional <laughs> yeah, comic you are, Dice. Permission. Why? What's going Somebody on, dude? Why? Yeah, why? What's going on? Why? What? Where did this come from? All this anger at Sebastian. 
Because I'm the real Italian. Oh, really? <laughs> but but I thought you're actually Jewish. Look, I brought this guy on the road. I teach him how to wear the black jeans and the leather. <laughs> now I see him wearing the black jeans and the leather, saying that it's his own thing. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, yeah. Do you think you cre- so? What you're saying is, you think you created a monster dice? I think I created a baby dice, and he's doing a bad impression of me. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, is there is there any part of you that feels like I don't know, maybe like a little, I don't want to say jealous, but uh, you know, maybe you created this, and he's not giving you credit. I feel responsible that I unleashed this on the world. Yeah, and that- now I got to take it out. You got to take him down. So what are, you, what are you going to do to take him down, Dice? Let's talk strategy. Flush him to the kneecap. <laughs> I, he can still do stand-up, but he would just be in a wheelchair. He's going to be doing sit-down. <laughs> I'm done with that. Sit-down comedy? That's what he's going to be doing? <laughs> so how can we, how can, you know, because I, I love Sebastian. He's a good friend of mine for a long time. You're my friend. How can we find resolution, Dice? What do we got to do? Like a Dice-off, maybe? A dice off would be good. Res- resolution dice. is you get the cage, you call Bruce Buffer, and I kill him in a cage. Are you dice, saying? Can I, can I answer a question here? Sure, of course. Dice, you know I've always been a big fan of yours, um, and so um, you know it's with respect that I ask this. But um, what do you say about the theory that's out there that Sebastian is is wearing it better? I can't even. I'm, I'm I'm looking at the hand I answer in this question. He's wearing it better than the dice man. I am, I am not the dad look. You can't <laughs> do that look without the dice man's permission. Uh, now, now, how many times did you text Sebastian they didn't hit you back? 49. Wow. 49. <laughs> That's borderline. That's borderline stalking, guys. Now, I understand Sorry, that you're so worried about and angry about uh, Sebastian, that you've actually been training MMA and that you've been training with uh, George St. Pierre. Is that true? I'm not going to say who's training me, but I'm always training to throw hands. Well, it, Sebastian's <laughs> not training nothing. He's just training to do more of his Seinfeld jokes. I'm coming for him, and it's not going to be pretty. Dice, okay, so you don't want to say who you're training with, but is your trainer there? Can we talk to your trainer if he's there? You don't have to say his name. Yeah, of course. There he is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so Wheels. Wheels is training dice. This sounds really b- Wheels, I didn't know you even had any knowledge of, of uh, mixed martial arts. Yeah, I actually won uh, four kumites in Thailand. <laughs> really? Really? In Thailand, huh? Yeah. Have you ever seen, uh, have you ever seen the movie Bloodsport? Yeah, I've seen I've Bloodsport. I've heard of it. Sure. I've heard of it. Yeah, loosely based on my life. Oh, so you're saying, oh, wow, 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 wow. Uh, can you take us kind of through some of what, what your fights were like in Thailand? I'd love to hear this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bolo Young was actually playing himself. He fought in the tournament. Oh, so. Oh, really? wow. And how'd you kill him, by the way? How'd you beat him? Uh, well, I had, uh, I, they blinded me with uh, powder. Okay. <laughs> 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 and then what? And uh, I uh, went down in the splits and uh, I punched him in the groin and the, uh, the fight was over. Wow. Oh, wow. So blinded by powder, then you go to your classic blinded move, splits groin punch. That's smart move. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm teaching Andrew. You know, this Sebastian thing's got Andrew very upset. You know, oh. he's got high blood pressure. He's got to be careful. And uh, I, I heard uh, Sebastian's hanging out with this guy named Tires now. Tire? Oh. oh God, that's so that's stupid. Wheels. What a dumb <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what stupid. Dude, what? Can you put dice back on real quick, Wheels? Give me the phone, you fat fuck. <laughs> dice. Can we bring you guys together and figure this out? I mean, I would love it, but this guy's too busy doing this. 
Do what? You seen this guy? Yeah. You seen this? You heard about it? Yeah, I seen it. I heard it. I fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dice. Dice, we got to really bring, we, we can't have you guys fight with each other. You're all comedy store. We got to bring people together, make love, you know, not war. Yeah, well, I bring this guy on the road. Little do I know he's sitting back there with a the pen and a pad, stealing my essence. Oh, Andrew, I'm sorry. I just got this text. I was trying to text Sebastian while we were doing this so I could see if I could get some answer from him about, like, you know, really just, I just wanted him to, like, show his respect. Um, the answer I got back is, and I'm sorry to have to be the one to read this out loud. Oh man, I'm sorry to have to bring this to you. But just read it, you. <laughs> fuck, that, fuck that guy. He only paid me a hundred bucks a show to open for him at giant stadiums. It was it was more it was more worth it for me to work my job at the hotel than it would be to open for Dice. He didn't do anything for me. He used me. Fuck him. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why. I'm not sure. Can we can we see the text, Ari? Uh, I don't know how to flip around my screen. To uh, go on. Okay. Dice, what's your reply to that? You know why I wasn't paying him a lot? Because he wasn't bringing a lot. Oh. I did Madison Square. I did A Star is Born. He's, what is he doing? Crowds for 80-year-old Italian people? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well... I, I mean, I just hope you guys get together. Why can't an, uh, an Armenian, I mean, uh, why can't a, an Italian and a Jew come together? And an Italian Jew. An Italian Jew come together. Why, why is he trying to go by one name? Where did he learn that from? Where's your last name? I think it's because no one it's can spell his last it's name. His last name is Clay. Andrew Dice Clay. You have a first name, a nickname, and a last name. So it's not from you. I please. go by Dice. Now he's going by one name. I did it before Madonna. I did it before Cher. What about Jesus? He may be before me, but I know he's before him. <laughs> you should know. It's for sure before you. He may be before you. All right. Maybe. All right. Well, well dice, thanks, dice, for, calling thanks for calling in. in. The show's coming to an end. Sorry a, that that's What a, a wonderful a, podcast this What a treat. Been. Thanks, guys. Guys, thanks for calling so, in. Uh, what can, uh, what can, uh, is there any way anybody can uh, get involved in? How can they get involved in beta testing or anything like that? Or, or when is it going to drop? How can people find the app? Yeah, and uh, you know, one last feature: if you're a degenerate gambler, we've got we've got odds, we've got you know how accurate Vegas has been on on all these games, the spread. Um, you know, no so you can go to www.refratings.com. Um, just click on um, the contact area, and mm -hmm. you can sign up to uh, be part of the beta testing team. Cool. And then uh, once you sign up you will get a welcome email and um, an invitation from Apple to download their app called Test Flight. And then that's basically kind of the, uh, think of it like an app store, yeah. um, where you'll be able to download uh, ref ratings from. Yeah, it's real easy. All we need is an email. Um, the download is really quickly, it's really quick. And uh, we've got promotional offers. We've got two uh, box level seats for the Dodgers for people who are in this first pool. Of ah, beta dude, I'm joining. So, now, so we got those, so we got when others. Say, when you guys say App Store, you're talking about the application store, is that correct? Yes. I know a guy <laughs> in a flip phone doesn't know that, right? right. We'll walk you through it got off it. the air. But, yeah, we've got this first promotion. We're going to have more following after that. Yep. Um, high chances to win. Ari, and, uh, final thoughts. Hang up on me. <laughs> yep, that's what it is. Guys, uh, over there. I'm going to send that. a shout out real quick to the Joanna. Notre Dame women's basketball oh, team. Oh, we didn't even talk about what that. Game. What a game. Why that did was, you have your mom call in? That was, I tried to get her to call in, but she said no because Ari and Sam are going to make fun of me the whole time. No, did she really say that? I'll show you the text. You know I Who's wouldn't do that. Yeah. That hurts my feelings. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> I know. Uh, but anyways, we, uh, I just want to say congrats. My mother's had Notre Dame season tickets for a long time, women's basketball. Uh, it's the only sport she cares about, and they won a championship in an extremely exciting fashion. That yeah. was awesome. Uh, so I was, very, I was very happy for them, and I'm very happy <laughs> for her. And uh, congratulations, Notre Dame. Yeah, that was basketball. exciting. That was way more exciting than the men. So I, I love any time sure. Connecticut loses. I, I think they're bad for uh, basketball. Agree. And Gino. Yeah, anytime Gino, Gino loses, <laughs> is a good thing.
any if this was a male version, he would have moved on the NBA, and if he dominated the NBA, he would retire and just do circuit. Now he's just. You know, the problem is is that the uh, women's basketball, the real league, is in Russia, and they just can't fucking get anything. There's no money in the pro league here. Guys, this has been Punch Drunk Sports. Hey, this Saturday, come down to uh, the Sycamore Tavern for the live Yeah, if you want to come watch a fight with us, come watch a fight with all of us. We'll be there. All right, you guys are G. Thanks for coming you on, guys. guys. Thank you guys for everything. Bam. Appreciate it. We'll talk it. to you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.